I was involved in a prescribed fire review a few years ago. We spent a lot of money and a lot of time and got a document out of it that didn't say much. The whole process that we went through was extremely impersonal. It was like covering the bases. In the end, I don't think we got squat out of it. In 2011, Rocky Mountain Research Station, with funding from the Joint Fire Science Program, talked with over 60 prescribed fire specialists about how they best learned from prescribed fire operations. Research investigators were particularly interested to study the learning that occurred when fire managers used escaped prescribed fire reviews. They were curious about the review documents themselves and in the processes that created them. They wondered how information contained in the reviews was shared locally and with other units. Two-day dialogue sessions were held in five cities across the United States. In each session, interagency prescribed fire specialists described what was working and not working when it came to learning. In this podcast, we briefly described the research project's methodology and results. For two days, interagency fire specialists with experience in prescribed burning and escape burn reviews met to discuss how they learned as individuals and as members of work teams. Rather than coming together in a traditional meeting room style, chairs positioned behind tables, participants from up and down the chain of command formed their chairs into a circle. This room arrangement allowed the prescribed fire specialists and the researchers to more easily talk to one another. To further deepen the conversation, participants were taught key dialogic tools. Audio recordings were made of each session and transcribed. The typed transcripts were analyzed using social science computer software. In reviewing the research results, it was immediately evident that while many productive practices exist, much work remained to be done to improve organizational learning in prescribed fire operations. Over 100 discrete themes were identified. Many participants believed the whole escape fire review process was flawed, creating not a climate conducive for learning, but one of fear and reprisal. Others spoke of the importance of the makeup of review teams and the emotional and social impact of losing a prescribed burn. Of concern to many was how often the experience of using national fire policy to guide prescribed fire escape reviews was actually anti-learning. What this research project did, and to our knowledge for the first time, is define the strengths and gaps in individual and organizational learning for prescribed fire operations. Perhaps the best framework to hold the themes generated from the dialogue sessions together is the concept of the learning organization. A learning organization has been defined by David Garvin as one skilled at creating, acquiring, and transferring knowledge and at modifying its behavior to reflect new knowledge and insights. For this podcast series, we recast Garvin's definition to be skilled at creating, sharing, and using insights that is, putting lessons into practice. Through these podcasts, we will show you how to design a learning organization for your home unit. A learning organization is dependent upon a leader whose intentions as to learning are clear, and who works hard to create a robust learning culture, and who ensures that insights are integrated into practice. Since talk is so important to learning, we will show you steps to improve the quality of your conversations and share some exceptional learning activities we heard during the workshops. The series ends with a description of specific procedures line officers can take to improve learning on their units. Obviously, we can only skim the surface of the scores of themes identified, so each podcast ends with a section called Other Resources, which will guide you to more detailed information. More information can be found at the Rocky Mountain Research Station's Human Factors and Risk Management homepage, including lead investigator Ann Black's detailed discussion of research methods and results. <laughs>